The first three weeks of pregnancy include the two weeks after your period begins and fertilization of the egg. The sperm and egg unite to form a single cell called a zygote. The cell divides to form a cluster of cells that travels down the fallopian tube to the uterus. During week four of pregnancy, the single cell zygote divides many times to form a ball of cells with an inner group and an outer shell known as a blastocyst. The blastocyst reaches the uterus and within a couple of days implants itself in the wall. During week five of pregnancy, or three weeks after conception, the dividing cells of the embryo form a disc which folds into three layers. These layers are the beginnings of the organization of cells that will develop into all of the organs and tissues of the human body. A groove forms down the center of the disc, which now has a top and bottom, front and back, and left and right side. This neural groove deepens and then forms a tube, which will develop into the brain and spinal cord. An early circulatory system develops from tubes on the left and right side of the groove. The tubes merge, kink, and fuse together to form the chambers of the heart, which will begin to beat and pump blood. The central nervous system is also developing, and the gastrointestinal tract begins to form. Simultaneously, the surrounding environment is also changing to nourish, protect, and support this development. During week six of pregnancy, or four weeks after conception, the neural groove down the center of the embryo closes like a zipper, forming a tube that becomes the spinal cord and brain. The closing is faster toward the head end as the different parts of the brain develop. The ends of the groove then close. The heart now beats and pumps blood. Other organs and facial features are becoming more defined. Tiny buds appear that will become arms and legs. The embryo starts to take on the shape of a C. Its skin is so thin it is transparent. It is about an eighth of an inch long. During week seven of pregnancy, or five weeks after conception, the brain is developing rapidly with the five main sections established. The face is also quickly developing and eye lenses, earbuds, and nostrils become visible. The arms and legs continue to grow with paddle-like shapes where the hands and feet will be. The main branches of the lungs are developing. The embryo is a quarter of an inch long. During week eight of pregnancy, or six weeks after conception, the embryo's facial features are becoming more defined as the brain grows to support the senses, such as vision and hearing. The cerebral cortex in the brain has developed and all the cranial nerves which emerge from the brain are in place. The arms and legs are growing longer and joint development is underway. Blood is forming in the liver. The intestines are developing and fill the base of the umbilical cord. The embryo's C-shaped trunk is beginning to straighten. It is about half an inch long. During week nine of pregnancy, or seven weeks after conception, bones have begun to form. The embryo's arms are growing and can bend at the elbows. The legs, hands, and head can move. Toes are beginning to form, and upper and lower eyelids are in place. The heart has four chambers and is nearly complete. Production of cerebrospinal fluid has begun. The embryo can hiccup. It is close to three quarters of an inch long. During week 10 of pregnancy or eight weeks after conception, all the vital organs are in place along with fingers and toes. The genitals are forming and development of the skeleton is underway. The embryo's head is becoming rounder. The hands are beginning to touch the face and the hands and feet begin to touch each other. The end of this week marks a change from the embryonic to the fetal period of development, that is, the transition from an embryo to a fetus. The fetal stage lasts until birth. During week 11 of pregnancy, or nine weeks after conception, the placenta is providing nourishment that enables the fetus to start growing more rapidly. Red blood cells are beginning to form in the liver. The external genitals become visible. The fetus can now sigh, stretch, 
open its mouth and move its tongue. It drinks fluid and there is movement in the small intestine. The fetus is about two inches long. Week 12 or 10 weeks after conception is generally considered the last week of the first trimester. The fetus has developed fingernails and toenails. The corpus callosum, which connects the right and left sides of the brain, has begun to develop. The intestines are moving from the umbilical cord into the abdomen. The fetus now yawns. It is nearly three inches long and weighs about half an ounce. At 13 to 18 weeks, 11 to 16 weeks after conception, all the baby's nerves, organs, and muscles are functioning. The immune system, sex organs, and respiration are developing. The skin is forming distinct layers, and the baby is developing fat stores. Its ears stick out of its head. At 19 to 25 weeks, 17 to 23 weeks after conception, downy hair covers the developing baby's body. Melanin production begins. The developing baby can swallow and suck. Its sense of taste and touch have developed, and it responds to sounds. Eyebrows and eyelashes can be seen, and the hands are fully developed. The third trimester begins at 26 weeks. At 26 to 30 weeks, 24 to 28 weeks after conception, the eyes are open and fully developed. They can sense light and produce tears. Brain weight increases four to five fold. The lungs begin breathing like movement. The baby begins to store minerals to help bones grow strong. At 31 to 36 weeks, 29 to 34 weeks after conception, the baby's skin is red and crinkled. Rapid weight gain continues and fat deposits round out the baby. The baby's lungs are almost fully developed. The fingernails reach the ends of its fingertips. At 37 to 40 weeks, 35 to 38 weeks after conception, the baby's lungs are mature and it can grasp something. The baby has enough fat to maintain a normal, consistent body temperature. The baby is now considered full term and normal gestation ends.